Okay, so bike's been washed and I've dried it down and left it to stand for a while. No streaks from the shampoo. So next I thought I'd show the Annie Blue spray polish for doing some details. Good shake for this one. You know, when you wash you tend to miss things. There's a, a few things in here. What I thought I'd do is go through each one of the things that I would use this on just to show uh, how it is on those and then I'll carry on and do the rest of them and then move on to the next. So I don't know if you can see but the headlamp here is matte black and this was one of the reasons this stuff was invented. It's for polishing, you can use it on gloss paint as well, which I will show actually. Actually, let's do it now. It's very good for that as well. It's, uh, it also cleans quite well this stuff as well as puts a shine on Yeah, so back to the matte paint. As I said before, one of the problems with a lot of the waxes that are out there is that they contain fine polishing agents, which while they're great for putting a shine on, tend to either wear the, the gloss one down or with the matte, it polishes it shiny. So this stuff won't do that. Um, there are other matte paint cleaners out there, but from what I can see, they're all um, just soap and water, basically. They come in like a big spray gun. And it does get the paint clean, but what it won't do is protect it. Whereas uh, Annie Blue will leave a nice coating on the paint to protect it from water. And it also protects it from damage from UV light. Again, there's natural ultraviolet protection built into this and it will give a kind of a, a deep shine but it won't polish your paint shiny over time like most of them do so just a bit of a spray it's fine on the chrome as well don't worry about that in fact you can use it to clean the whole lot Should have done this first actually, oh, never mind. And it goes, doesn't take a lot of effort. So you can leave it like that if you like, but uh, just to Shine the chrome a bit and then um, show it works, it'll take it back down. As you can see, we still have a matte paint, a matte finish, but it does look cleaner. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, Andy Blue is the only one on the market at the moment that will do this for your matte paint protect it clean it and keep it matte I will do the chrome later on so there you go it's still matte but it does have a kind of a sheen to it 
So uh, yeah, it will repel the water. And then, uh, sweaty finger mark there. It'll repel the water and it'll um, help to block the UV light, keeping your paint as it should be. The other thing I think this is, would be great for is stuff like the rubbers again. Rubber is susceptible to UV damage. So I think this would be a, a good thing to use on there. Don't need a lot. Move that brake line out of the way. Gators are a great idea for keeping muck and things off you forks, but they're a pain to clean. some muck off there there is a I don't know if you can see all the muck in the chain guard thing there I think this is a great idea by the way that chain spotless underneath there just put a bit on Smaller fingers. Let's clean quite a bit of muck out of there. do actually is try it on the wheel as well I haven't actually tried that Let's see how we go there's like lots of little nooks and crannies you can use it on I will do the tank in the proper wax later so yeah, you can see where it shined there right you're as wise as I now so what is gonna happen here Show off the painted our um, <sighs> my head powder coated. It'll work on both. So it's 
stuck some muck off. Mm, a little bit of rust there that I've just noticed, that's from the flood. I think that's what's caused that. No mind. Actually, I wonder what all that'll do on there. Let's see if it cleans it off. Mm, the metal polish will get that, but we'll have to clean all that off and paint it again, I think. Actually, let's try it on. Yeah, I'm still finding uses for it. Hopefully you guys can come up with some more. I stuck some muck off there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go around and um, finish off this detailing and I'll move on to the next product. So that's your Annie Blue spray polish. Good for paint, especially matte paint. It works well on gloss too. Protects, stops UV. And it looks as though it even works really well on tyres. Shortly. Okay, that's one side done, detailing. It's basically bits of the back of the frame, the rubbers, headlamp, bits like that. Back mud guard. I'm really especially pleased with how those wheels have come up. Yeah, quite chuffed. Well, very pleased all round, but especially those wheels. Oh, missed a bit. Yeah, so, right. Turn her over, do the other side. Right, so, detailing is done. Um, so the next thing on the list is paintwork. So I'm going to give it the full treatment with the Annie Blue wax, which again is all natural and contains natural UV protection. Just a soft wax. So I don't know if you can see on the tank there, there's some bits of overspray where I've cleaned the handlebars and things like that with the spray, which is the reason I did that before doing this. So here we go, a damp cloth. You'll find you only need a tiny bit of this stuff. usual thing that like you do with any wax, circular. Keep rubbing until you think you've got in all the nooks and crannies. You could actually 
do this and then wait a while if you want to let the water from your cloth evaporate and some of the lighter oils in the wax. Personally, I don't bother really. It's fine to just go in and buff down. go nice protective coating of wax on your paint nice and shiny sure if you can see the difference there so again I'll go around and do the rest of the paint work and then the other bits that I think needs doing with this. Actually, the uh, engine casing is painted on this, so. Should get a bit closer. I do actually like the smell of this wax. Again, only images, that's all you need. I know it might seem to some that it's perhaps a little bit expensive, this wax, but for what it is, what it does, and how far it goes, I don't think it is at all. Here we go. Circle of motion again. So yeah, you can see how little I've used there, and even that was probably a bit too much. Put some on the top. I know the paint job on this uh, bike isn't the best in the world, but I think it deserves it because it does get used. This is, I suppose, what used to be called a winter hack. Nice and shiny. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to do with this? Mud guard. Here's this plate here. <laughs> Barely think someone's knocking. So I've got this panel here. Again, see that's all you need. And that will do all that. I 
I say I'll put um, the natural UV blockers in. I do, do quite a bit of research on what would be the best ones, and there are plants. When you think about it, a lot of plants are out in the sun all day. It's them that provide the shade, there's no shade for them. So all that UV light is blasting the leaves all day, every day. So they need natural UV protection. Some of them can contain more than others, obviously, but that's how it works. It's uh, what protects the plant from the ultraviolet light is now protecting paint and motorbikes. Do actually have very similar compounds that occur naturally in your eye and your lens, which protect your um, retina from the ultraviolet light. It's one of the things I used to work on years ago actually. Um, I was making ultraviolet blockers for replacement eye lenses, artificial ones, you know if you get a cataract you replace your lens with an artificial one now, they just inject it in. So uh, you have to put things in there that replace the role of the natural ultraviolet blockers in your lens to protect your retina. And, uh, that was one of the things that I used to work on years ago and the lens materials themselves. We used to come up with new ones, better ones. There we go, nice and shiny. So I shall carry on and uh, do the rest and be back shortly. Right, okay, so paintwork is done. All looking nice and shiny. No do say so myself. So I don't know if you can see the mud guard. The next thing then is uh, aluminium and chrome. So we've got some of our any blue metal polish ready. So we'll probably do things like the heads, the casings and the exhaust. Any other chrome shiny bits, any bare metal, maybe the carb. It's interesting actually since I've started using the Annie Blue um, metal polish, these don't fur up. You always know, used to get the white oxide after a while, but uh, not since I've started using that, none of that. Right, so I shall make a start. those who haven't seen this before, it's an all natural metal polish. And, uh, a few people have been trying this with great results and there are some reviews saying uh, it's as good as if not better than the other metal polishes out there. And I do think it it does seem to get better with time and um, it leaves a, a much better protection coating on I think. Like I say these just don't seem to fur up after using this. There we go.
you can see you get the characteristic black colour where the oxide comes off. actually so you can see it working hopefully I don't know if you can hear that noise in the clean, but that does seem to be a characteristic sound that you get with this that tells you when it's done. And you get like it's like the, the coating that's left behind. Chrome. Oh, that carver out of there. Something lucky. I'm sure we go like that. And get fiddly to get in there. better indeed it does I think I'll just see if we can get to the two stroke sort of nipple there Looks like it's made of brass. It's amazing how many 
things in fuel system still are made out of brass. Especially in carburetors. Well, most things are injection these days, but fiddly to get out that. You can see what I think that does look better already. I'll spend a bit of time trying to get in at that. Some little bits of rust on the exhaust there. Let's have a look at that. So that's probably tar doing a lot of the roads around here. Let's take that off. noise I'll have a better word shiny I can make out that there's some bits of rust on line that it was like that when I got it this bike It's only thin chrome, I think, on these. Uh, I suppose what you would call a budget bike. Some more there. And when I'm done, I'll go over it with the um, chrome and alloy oil, and that'll protect that. Can use it on steel. I think that there 
Irish steel. That's uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. The adjuster on the back wheel. It's a bit yucky. Let's see what we can do with that. Too sure that the coat is all painted with something that. I think it's painted. Mm -hmm. Leave that. Oh, good. It shouldn't affect the paint, by the way. some on your paint It's a bit mucky, so let's have a go at that. So, there you go, as you can see, an all natural metal polish that works. Seems to be a common sort of misconception. That the, um, the natural stuff doesn't work as well as the manufactured stuff from a factory. Synthetic chemicals. And in my experience, a lot of the time they work a lot better than natural ones. That's why this stuff is here. Some kind of scratch that with your boot heel. Just spotted a bit there where the two strokes been burning onto the pipe past this seal here. Let's see what this does to it. Bad. It's getting 
it off. I suppose the thing I should do is replace the seal. And it's baked on hard that and it's got most of it. Well, it certainly made an impression. The spray polish might get that off better actually. A couple of goals with that, I think that'll be off. to do while trying to film it. It is working. Just about managed to polish that top bit. As you've probably noticed, the casting one gel is out. I not got the best finish in the world. I might actually polish those properly. Get them smooth. Right, so again, I shall carry on and um, polish the rest and move on to the Annie Blue Chrome and Alloy Oil. See you soon. Alright guys, so we're uh, all polished up now. I think the exhaust is looking a lot better, especially. All done, all sides. I've not really done the carb as well as I would like, but I'm going to have to take that out, I think, to do it properly. Right, so the next stage, I'm going to apply a very thin coat of this, the Chroman Alloy. Um, this is to protect the bare metals from the elements 
No, I'll be doing any bare aluminium, big lumps of steel, anything like that on the chrome. A nice thin coat. So what I tend to do is get a tissue. Oops. Last one. Don't need much. You can see it's a nice clean oil. Very thin coat, so you won't see it really. For this, in the past, I have used other things like a well known penetrating oil water displacer. It works okay for, especially in the exhaust, it, I don't know, 10-15 minutes and it just boils away. It's alright if it's standing. Um, the, there's nothing in there really that will help it cling to the metal. Whereas this does, it has um, natural chelating agents will bond to the metals and like I say um, I probably said before the most famous one of those I can think of is um, in hemoglobin the uh, hemoglobin molecule surrounds the, and bonds to the iron at the center keeps hold of it it's very similar Thing. Like I say, it's an, a mixture of ancient knowledge and modern science, really. This one. And I've been quite impressed with it so far, how it performs. And you can see, you can't really see it, but it's there. And it'll uh, repel the water cling to the metal for as long as it's there so you decide you want to wash it off so I'll carry on and do the rest and uh, then we'll have a look right there we have it then one mucky, flooded motorbike, cleaned from top to bottom with any blue stuff. So we've used the shampoo, the detailer, the wax and protect, the metal polish and the chrome and alloy oil. And um, I think it looks pretty good much better alright guys so there we have it one bike clean top to bottom transformed from being a swamp to something resembling a clean bike It's come up. Okay, uh, try for the start up. It's been stuck for a good few days, so see how we go. Right, done. going back in time with this thing 
petrol on, chokes on, things like that. Just give it a minute. Before we switch on, just feed things through. Okay. them exhaust. Nothing burning there, apart from what should be. again thanks for joining me thanks for watching any questions about the Annie Blue range just give me a shout and I will be doing some more on uh, Annie Blue herself as well It's just the side light, by the way. That's the end light. On the cleaned wind.
Tak. 